these pastors, these so-called fake pastors that's trying to teach you out of the Bible, God has never sent them. Give me Jeremiah 23 and verse 21. Because what we out here is we trying to teach you the truth of the Bible. Teach you the true facts that come out of the Bible. We're not out here trying to teach you what we feel or what's been taught by your oppressor. What you have learned has been learned all the way back from slavery. But until you actually read the Bible and see what the Bible is about, you will understand who the Lord is dealing with. You understand he's dealing with the Israelites. Read. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 21. I have not sent these prophets. What did the Lord say? I have not sent these prophets. So earlier today we see these prophets out here preaching. They're coming out of the scriptures. But the Lord said what? I have not sent these prophets. Uh -huh. yeah. Yet they ran. I have not spoken to them. Yet they prophesied. So some of these prophets that's over here that be trying to teach our people in the Sunday church and today. They, the Lord has not prophesied unto them. Who the Lord is prophesying to is to the Israelites. He is trying to raise up the black man and the Native American and the Hispanic man to stand up for his communities and teach his people that they are the Israelites. So what we out here trying to do is we're going to give you the truth because you've been taught the precepts of men. Give me that. Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 13. Because far too long you've been following after lies. The church has been teaching you lies. The churches are now trying to accept LGBT. That is not of God. We're going to find out who has changed the truth into a lie. Read. Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as his people draw near me with their mouth. So a lot of our people and the other nations try to draw near the Lord with their mouth. But our people, we've been drawn near to the Lord by the lies. We've been trying to praise God in any amount of way that we have in these churches and all these different religions. But let's find out what you've been taught. Read. This people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me. Because we say we love God, but God is about actions. What's going to fix the community is the action and the application of applying God's laws. That's right. Uh, marriage is honorable. That's one law. Thou shalt not kill. That's another law. These simple laws, if we apply these in our communities, we'll be able to fix them. We'll be able to take away the lies in our mind that we can do whatever we want. Because that's what the that's what the church teaches you. They teach you to come as you are. They teach you that the laws are done away with. They teach you to sit there and praise God with no application behind it. Read. But have removed their heart far from me. You have removed your mind far from God. Because you do everything outside of God's laws. Today on. is the Sabbath day. There should be no buying or selling or working. There should be no food be cooking. It should be giving honor unto the Lord today. Read. Remove their heart far from me. And their fear toward me is taught by the precepts of men. So the fear of God has been taught to you like the brothers was told you. That you learned another gospel. You learned another spirit. You learned another doctrine from Caesar Bowe. That's where you learned that in your Christian church, the Baptist church, the Seventh-day Adventists, all these other religions, they taught you the fear of God. But the fear of God is by keeping his commandments. Right. Read. Verse 14. I'll read the last part again. And their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. So the fear of them, that of God, the things, all these other doctrines, all these false, false ideologies of things that come as you are, that God is dealing with everyone. That the God has room on the cross for everybody? No. That's from the lies of man. God is dealing with the Israelites, man. Give me, chapter, right. give me Romans chapter 1 and verse 25. Because we're going to address the issues in our community. We're going to address the lies in this America. We're going to address the lies that the churches have been teaching you. Read. Romans chapter 1 and verse 25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? So who has changed the truth of God into a lie? What is the truth? God's laws. What is another truth? Who is God dealing with? The Israelites. That's right. Who was the Gentiles? The Gentiles was Israelites acting like Gentiles. But we like the but the Christian church like the poor Romans in chapter says when it says unto the Jew and to the Greek, but not knowing that there was Israelites scattered amongst the Greeks. Just like we are scattered amongst the Americans and other nations in society today. That's Read right. on. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator? So the creature is Caesar Borgia, the white image of Christ. 
the false image. But what the true image is God is a black man. Christ is a black man. The prophets are a black man. But every image in this world has been turned, it's been whitewashed. Give me first, give me first Maccabees 3 and 48. Let's show them. We're going to show you in the scriptures that they have changed the truth into a lie. Bring it out. Read. This is the book of First Maccabees, chapter 3 and verse 48. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of who? The heathen. The heathen are the other nations. Right. The so-called, first of all, the Caucasian man who has changed the greatest man on earth image into a white man. Bring it out. That is the greatest lie in history. Bring it out. Read. Ah! The heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. Because you don't see the Chinese man saying that he is Christ. You don't see the uh, Japanese. You don't see no other nation teaching that they are Christ. The only man who has done that and has not paid for his crimes is the so-called Caucasian man today. That's right. They're not teaching you that you're the Israelites. Right. They're scared to say that Christ is a black man right. because they know there is power in that. There is power when the black man realizes I am in the image of Christ. That's I am right. in the image of God. Right. Oh, but they say that they are God. Let's go back to who has changed the truth into a lie. Romans. Got it? Read. Romans chapter 1 verse 25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie uh -huh. and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator? So the precepts of men and lies that's been taught is the creature, the false image. Read. The creator who is blessed forever. Amen. Verse 26, for this cause God gave them up. So since we have followed after the ways of men, the precepts, and the false ideologies, not the truth of the Bible, he has gave us unto what? Undefiled things? Let's find out. God gave them up unto vile affections. Vile affections. Vile affections is man sleeping with man, woman with woman. Our sisters out here sitting there thinking that it's okay to dress the way they dress. When they say I have on a dress with modest, that's modestly and with fringes in the border of blue. The black man and the Hispanic man think it's okay to shave their beard. They think that it's okay to look at porn. They think it's okay to sit there and celebrate the gay pride parades. Those are vile and unseemly things. Let's get some more things. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. So God has, God is up here trying to let our people know that the woman has today has changed the natural use. Two women can't produce babies. A man and a woman is supposed to produce. A man and a woman is supposed to pro procreate. And the seed comes from the father. That's right. Another lie is telling you that you are mixed with many things. No, you are of the seed of your father. Verse, 20, verse 27, and likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the women burned in their lust one toward another. So our people, we have been burned in our lust one toward another. We have burned into, been burned towards homosexuality. We have been burned towards the things that are unnatural. These things are not natural in life. Why is it that the animal kingdom can get that right, but we can't get it right? It's, it's, it's simple. You ain't never seen two male king lions messing with each other. You ain't never seen no male or male animal messing with each other, or male monkey and male monkey. But us as a people, we get burned in our lust. And that's what's being taught to us in society. Lies telling you that it's okay to be gay. Be who you are. Come as you are in the church. That's not what God is about. Read. Burned in their lust one toward another. Men with men. Working that which is unseemly. And receiving in themselves the recompense of their error. The recompense of their error is what happened when men sit there and sleep with each other. All types of diseases coming about with that. HIV, AIDS, all these things are what's going to be unseemly and that's what you're going to work. You have reaped your benefits from being unseemly. Read. The recompense of their error which was me. And even as they did not like to retain God and all their knowledge, because a lot of times when we come out here to teach the truth or when we tell our people the truth, they don't want to hear it. People that is in error, they don't like to hear rebuke. But when you hear the truth, it's gonna be good for you. It's gonna help you. You can change. We're not out here to condemn nobody. We out here to teach you repentance and who repentance is for. And that's for the Israelites. Read. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. So he gave you over to a reprobate mind. Man, you thinking that 
everything's good in America. You thinking that we free. You thinking that God loves everybody. God said that we all equal. No, God said you above all nations of the earth. Right. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Let's show them. Because our people ain't been taught to love themselves. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. No, he chose everybody. Chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Uh -huh. Above all people. Above who? All people. But the church teach that all people are equal. But what did God say? Above all people. God said that the Israelites are above all people of the earth. So what we are here to teach, brother, that's not what we're not about. What we are here to teach is we try to teach our people that you are above all nations of the earth and that you are the Israelites. Come out of the lies that's been taught in society. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.